Yes guys, what's going on? Hashtag Shory here, back with some more Top 100 Foot Champions gameplay for you guys. Uh, it's about time we came back with some more gameplay. Uh, there's been quite a few reward videos in a row. And yeah, finally got back in the Top 100 again <laughs> after a few weeks of missing out. Um, so as you can see guys, we finished... Uh, I mean, it's going to take me a while to scroll down to it now, isn't it? Let's be honest. Like, I'm actually slap, pretty much slap bang in the middle of the leaderboard. So, you know, if I'd have gone up or down, it would have made no difference, mate. But, yeah, 51st in the world, which is actually really, really annoying because um, if you finish 50th or in between, like, 26th and 50th, you get the five player picks. So, unfortunately, we finished one place off five player picks. But what can you do? Anyway, though, good to get back into the top 100. A shame that, again... I didn't get the 30. I mean, who's surprised? Who's surprised that I got 29 and 1 again? I think this is like 29 and 1 number like 8 or 9 of the year. It's just it's just becoming a standard at this point, isn't it really? Like, I actually feel like a slight bit of a meme, but, you know, hopefully, hopefully one day I can pull off the 30, but, you know, this just remains to be seen. But yeah, guys, may as well get into the team that I used to play this weekend league, you know. Um, obviously, team of the year's just been out, and these team of the year cards are just absolutely like unbelievable like um varan messi and mbappe obviously the three team of the year cards that i've got in the team they're just they're just next level like the team of the year cards are just like obviously i'm, I'm sure you guys maybe can't afford all the team of the years but maybe if you've used them in draft or something like that i'm sure you guys will know they're just they just feel like the next level above um but yeah this is the same team i used for qualifiers this weekend where i managed to get uh, get to like six wins and three losses. So uh, I made it through to the knockouts because we had to get to five wins, two losses uh, at a minimum to get through to the knockouts. Uh, and then I won my first knockout game and then I played Dax. And uh, Dax is just unbelievable. So I lost that game, unfortunately. But we have got Bucharest coming up next week. Uh, I'm going to that tournament, playing in that. And then I've got America next month as well, which I'll, uh, I'll speak more about during the gameplay section of this video. Um, shout out to Harry as well. Harry qualified this weekend, which was... Uh, absolutely quality to get another hashtag player at another event so shout out to him good lad and um yeah boys i guess that's that's everything you've seen from the team uh we play 4-2-3-1 in game as well uh, that's another important thing to mention so i've just switched it here like in game that's what the team's looking like guys so we've got like messi playing at a central cam and oh, wait till you see the gameplay messi is just absolutely unbelievable but yeah without further ado let's get into the gameplay Yes, guys, so headed into the gameplay here. Not sure why I always say yes, guys, at every little interval, but whatever. <laughs> but one good thing to mention about this gameplay, well, I mean, I'm not sure if it's good, you know. You guys take it how you want it. But, yeah, the gameplay is all recorded from Champs Channel, so... Um, I haven't got any of the teams that I match, uh, like any of the team screens. You guys get what I'm saying. So, you can't see them, unfortunately, the teams we play against. But, um, you know, it's not that dramatic. You can sort of see the players that are on the pitch, but... Yeah, we did match quite a few sweaty players this weekend, though. It was, it was a it was a tough weekend league. Uh, I'm, I lost at 14-0, and and I was I put the clip in of that, the game, but uh, I accidentally then deleted one of the clips from it, and I was just there like, disaster of a situation. But yeah, I lost that game 2-1. Uh, funnily enough, I, the guy I lost against, actually, was one of the people that I played in the qualifier this weekend, and I beat him in the qualifier. So I, that's just how FIFA works, isn't it? You're always going to like take games off each other kind of thing but yeah guys uh like i was saying before so got bucharest coming up next week uh, i think i fly on the tuesday for that which is like um you know a lot sooner than i thought it's just sort of just come out of the blue like jesus christ the tournament just comes so fast and it's like you've got to turn up at a tournament you know but i'm feeling ready for it hopefully I can perform well for you guys uh, for Hashtag United. That's the plan. First, it's the first ever tournament I've played under Hashtag. Well, I played at a West Ham Cup. Uh, won some decent money there, but that's not like an official proper EA event, if that if that makes sense. But yeah, in this video, guys, as well, there's quite a lot of goals. Like, there's a lot of just... It's just it's just goal after goal after goal. But hopefully, you guys find that entertaining. There's not as much maybe build-up, so... You guys leave in the comments if maybe you'd prefer less goals and more build up, but I feel like I feel like it's got enough build up for it to be okay, if that makes any sense. But if you guys have used any of the team of the year cards as well, let me know in the comments and who is like your favourite kind of team of the year card. Let's be honest, they're all absolutely unbelievable. Like seeing some of the stats on them 
and you're just there like like Varane 90 pace like I remember in FIFA like 14 FIFA 13 like I don't think we'd ever thought we'd see a 90 pace center back in FIFA like honestly it's just absolutely ridiculous but yeah we go 1-0 down in this game this was actually one of the toughest games I played this weekend I, I really did have like a bad feeling like you watch Messi here when this hit the post I was like yeah it's not happening and then Ronaldo rebounds it and you're like yeah it's definitely offside and I was like oh Oh, there's actually a bit of, there's a, there's a sign of life here. And then, uh, luckily, that managed to uh, pull off. So, and yeah, the standard time finesse there. It's literally just the standard goal in this game. But there are a lot of goals in this video that are inside the box. I remember someone commented a few videos ago saying, oh, I'd score a lot outside the box. But a lot of these are inside the box goals because um, trying to shoot less. Or maybe am I? The mind games for the pros, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just taking the mick. But yeah doing drag backs on the edge of the box like this the scoop turn and drag back just li literally like one of the best things to do in this game like i can't stress that enough um but yeah a change up of team this weekend i used laurent blanc and i used Vieira, uh, who i've not used for like absolutely ages so that that was interesting to change up but i had to sacrifice um my other players like, i had to sacrifice hullet like honestly man selling hullet was just like heartbreaking but to get these team of the year cards it, ju it just had to be done so those two did a job in cdm they're decent but they just don't they're not like top top like tier level if that makes sense they just they just do the job in cdm they don't they can't dribble basically they're not like team of the year kante or team of the year modric modric by the way he has an absolutely unbelievable card but yeah good piece of build up here look at his look at this guy's keeper movement honestly like some of the people you match in weekend league, they just they just pull their keeper out like absolutely ridiculously, and I'm just there like, geez, like so, some keeper movement really does get on my nerves. I'm sure, sure you guys can relate. Like keeper movement can sometimes save people in a game. Oh, that's another thing I want to touch on. That needs nerfing. That needs patching. Uh, the El Tornado cross. It's just if you got if you run down the wing with a five star skiller and El Tornado it to the back post. Uh, to a tall player you are you are scoring that goal you just need to make sure you green the header but goals like that i don't really like scoring th that last goal because um th it's just it's just so predictable in this game now like everyone knows you're gonna do it everyone but if someone doesn't move their keeper in weekend league you should just do it because until they patch it the it's just it's just absolutely it's just so powerful they, they just always go in if you green it especially with these team of the year players like their green shots just they're just, they're just absolutely flying. Like, you're just there like, Jesus. But nice little goal here as well. Getting getting around the keeper like that. What's probably better there is when you get to the keeper to ball roll it around the keeper rather than do a fake shot like that. But I had quite a bit of space in front of me. So that's why I did the fake shot. But um, as well, guys, let me know how you also finished in Weekend League. Um, oh God, we got a bit of speed up here. But yeah, I'm trying the El Tornado again there. Didn't work then, but... It just, it just didn't make it to the player's head. But I'm being serious. If if you do that like well enough every time and get it to the back post, you you are just you are just scoring. This guy was having a bit of a disaster in the box, clearly. But yeah, ne Neymar's normal card was not the same as Neymar's uh, 94. That's the one I used uh, in the last qualifying, uh, which was for America. Which when I used that 94 Neymar, so. Uh, if you guys didn't know already, uh, if I haven't mentioned it enough on my YouTube, I, I managed to qualify for an event in America as well, which was just, oh man, best feeling. In the pack opening I uploaded last, I showed the clip when I qualify, and yeah, I was, I was a bit emotional, a bit teary, because, well, I wasn't, <sighs> Jesus, I've got myself in a hole here, haven't I? Just, it's just a bit overwhelming because you just like you play. It's playing one game of FIFA to decide whether you go to America for free or not. You know, because you know pl pay players, you know, get paid for to go to the to the events. And it's just like it's just like one game of FIFA. It's just it's just a bit overwhelming. And you just yeah. So yeah, I've spent about probably like 30 seconds here trying to justify why I look a bit emotional in the video. So yeah, but favorite player I use this weekend by an absolute mile is Messi. It's just. Like, watch this here. Just bang, bang. Whew. Oh, his finesse shots are just absolute top-notch. But another thing to mention in this video is it's a bit all over the place in terms of the time of each game. Like, um, a few of these clips you'll have seen Salah in there is because I played the first 10 games without Neymar in the team and Salah instead. But, yeah, it doesn't make much difference. It's just my red Salah that I've got on the bench I used instead of Neymar. 
off chemistry, but the first 10 games for like we as pros like if, if you're not winning the first 10 games like you really should win all the first 10 games because you most likely won't match someone uh nearer to your level kind of thing i'm sure you guys know the exact same kind of thing but um we are coming up to the end of the video here guys uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this type of gameplay where it's just a lot of goals but let me know in the comments if you'd still prefer to see more kind of build up play or even just a, a longer video i'm not too sure guys but yeah got some tournaments coming up bucharest like i said next week hopefully we can do well in that for hashtag that would be just quality to do well at that tournament and then uh yeah america next month so that should be fun also good thing to mention quickly before the video ends i've got a top 100 video gameplay highlights coming out next week next week next video so on friday so yeah be looking out for that guys but yeah the screen's gonna change now to my full face because the gameplay has just ended so if you guys did enjoy the video Please be sure to drop a like, subscribe, all that standard kind of stuff. Well, uh, hopefully it's standard. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you did enjoy, I've already said that. But yeah, guys, be looking out for that top 100 pack opening. I'll be releasing that on Friday, most likely. I'll record it tomorrow and then release it on Friday. So yeah, be looking out for that, guys. And uh, that's everything, boys. So until the next one, don't forget to hashtag it, lads.